Hey everyone, it's Carla again from the Medicine Hat Public Library. I'm here today with another STEAM Saturday. STEAM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, Arts, and Mathematics, and it is a bunch of fun concepts that we get to do projects around and learn something while we're at it. Today's project is going to be a balloon CD hovercraft, and this goes over the concept of defeating friction. Other places you might have seen this is when you're playing hockey. The puck is designed in an almost frictionless way so that it can glide over the ice seamlessly. Also, if you're playing air hockey, you know that the table has a bunch of little holes in it that shoot air up. And that is what defies friction there so that the air hockey puck can glide seamlessly over the table. We are going to look at that same concept when we make our balloon CD hovercrafts. This is a really fun project that you only need a couple things to make and hopefully you have them around your house and you can make your own. So let's quickly go over what you need to make your CD balloon hovercraft. So obviously you're going to need a CD and balloons, just one balloon per hovercraft. You're also going to need some bottle caps. These are just from pop bottles. If you've seen the um, balloon car video that I made, I just took one of the wheels from that car because it already has a hole drilled in it and it works perfectly for this craft as well. But if you did not make that, you can just find a bottle cap and you can get a hole in it any way that works for you, whether it's drilling it out like I did or using a thumbtack and poking some holes in it, um, putting a nail through it, whatever you have to do. Um, make sure you do ask your adults for help if you need help with this though, because it is kind of tricky to do. Um, and then the only other thing is a hot glue gun with some hot glue uh, just to attach the bottle cap to your CD. So we are going to assemble this and then after we have it assembled, we will talk about the science behind the hovercraft. So like I said, this is a very simple craft. You're just going to need a bottle cap with that hole already drilled into it and some hot glue. So once you have your hole in your bottle cap, you're just going to line it with hot glue. Again, since we're using hot glue, if you need help with this, please ask an adult. I don't want anybody to get hurt. All right, and then we are going to stick that right over the middle of our CD. So you can see here, it's right over the center and when you flip it, you still have access to the CD hole there. And you want to make sure that there is glue all the way around and that there's no air getting out through, through where it connects here. If you need to or want to, you can run a bead of hot glue all the way around just to make sure that it is nice and sealed. Alright, while that dries, I'm just going to give you a couple tips as well. So, like I said, you do want to make sure this is sealed, so make sure you have hot glue going around the whole thing or that you have a very secure seal all the way around. This one, I didn't have to put glue all the way around because I could see on the bottom that I had a good seal. This CD is dark, so I can't see that, so I did that little extra um, bead of glue just to be sure. And then also you want to make sure your CD is not cracked or warped in any way. You need a nice flat CD, nothing that is broken or has a big chip out of it. So like I said, you want to use an old CD. It might have scratches, but there's no actual cracks. It needs to be a nice solid CD. And you want to make sure you are using a flat, solid table or counter. This will not work on carpet or outside in the grass. It needs to be a nice, flat, solid surface for your hovercraft to work. And if your hovercraft is not working, um, if there's not enough air getting through, you might have to poke a couple holes in it. I found drilling just the one hole worked really well, but if you have something that makes a smaller hole, you might need two or three holes in it to get it to work. 
but that's a really good thing about this craft is you can always just take the balloon off, change it up, put the balloon back on, and give it a try. All right, now that our glue is dry, we are going to blow up a balloon and test it out. All right, and then the trick to attaching your balloon to your hovercraft is you have to twist it. You're not going to tie your balloon. So twist it so the air doesn't come out. And then you're going to stretch the mouthpiece over your bottle cap, just like that. And then when you're ready, you can untwist it and watch it work. So as you can see, it is moving all on its own and you can use your hands to guide it. It's really cool. It makes even a fun noise. It sounds like an air hockey table. And then as it runs out of air, it slows down. So the more air you can get in your balloon, the longer it will go for. Um, the smaller your balloon, the less air you have so it won't go as long. But the fun thing is, you just take your balloon off. Blow it up again and you can repeat it many times. It's super fun. If you have two people, you can each stand at the end of the table and you can toss it back and forth between you, just like you're playing air hockey. Now that we've seen the hovercraft in action, let's talk about why it works. So hovercrafts use air to lift the vehicle up and off of the surface and there has to be a lot of it moving straight down. So unlike air hockey where the air is blowing up to create that defeat of friction, the hovercraft has the air blowing down to create it. So the airflow created when the balloon contracts, so when the balloon contracts that means it gets smaller it's blowing air through that hole in your bottle cap and creating a bubble of space underneath the CD, which lets it glide effortlessly across your counter. So that is a very simple experiment, very simple explanation of how this works. You are just creating that defeat of friction by having the air go through the balloon through the little hole and popping it up off the counter so that it can move around freely. So this is a really fun activity. If you try it, send us a picture, send us a video. I'd love to see what you create. You could get a little artsy and color the top of your CD, make it nice and uh, personalized to you. You could do a race. If you have somebody else at home to each make one and do a fun race with them, I think that would be super cool. And yeah. Let me know if you do this. Leave a comment. If you want to check out more fun videos, go to our YouTube page at MH Public Library and you'll find lots of fun stuff. See you next time. Bye.